Okay, so our objective today is students will be able to add music to their Glockster. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your Glockster again, and you're going to find the sound link in that menu on the left-hand side. So I'm going to click sound, and you have the exact same options as you had when uploading a video or adding a video. You have one upload and you have two link. So first I want to talk about link. Um, when you click link, it's just like the video where you can copy and paste a link to the music you want to use. However, it has to be a link to an MP3 file. And those are really hard to find on the internet. Um, YouTube does not use MP3 files. When you listen to music on YouTube, that is not an MP3. So you cannot put a YouTube address in here. I tried it. I wonder if it's still in my thing. There it is. So I'm putting in a YouTube and I click add to my files and it acts like it's working but nothing shows up because YouTube is not mp3. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use our previous learning on how to download music and you're going to have to download and save music as an mp3 to your computer. Once you do that then you come in here and click upload and find your music. So I have a couple songs on my computer. Um, I'm going to click the first one and click open. <coughs> and then just like the video, it's going to start processing it. And it's going to add it to my little audio library here. Um, one thing that I like is I can preview my song. So if I click this little speaker button. My song will start playing so I can listen to it again. If I like it, of course, I'm going to select it and then click. Um, players. I was about to click use it. So you want to select a player again. So what's that graphic? What is your music going to look like when it's on the page? So I like those headphones a lot. So I'm going to click use it now. And from here I have the same options. I can move my player around. I can make it bigger or smaller. I can edit it. I can edit it for color. So I can change the color I can change the effects. Oops. That shadow in the background. And then the button with the grinding gears. I remember the word. I can also do the autoplay. Do I want my music to automatically play as soon as somebody comes to my blog? And how loud do I want it to be? What's the volume going to be? So apply and OK. So now you should have a lot of stuff on your blog. You know how to add text, graphics, video, music. You may want to look to preview your Glockster. What is it going to look like when this little menu isn't in the way and it doesn't say autoplay on and, you know, things don't have little frames around them? What is it going to look like to somebody that you share it with? So you can click the preview button at the top and it'll show you exactly how your blog will look. So my music's playing automatically. I can pause it if I don't want to hear it. I can click my video and my video should start playing. Hopefully. One day I was sitting at my computer. There it goes. I can pause that. One day I was sitting at my computer. And then once I'm done looking at it, and if I really like it, or if I need to make changes, I can go back to edit, and I can go back into the editing function.